machine nuts. To the left, I have a standard machine nut. And to the right, I have a small pattern machine nut. Now those two machine nuts, they will take the same screw. But the only difference is the outside circumference. Obviously small patterns are made for um, very tight areas. So that's machine screw nuts. Now I have finish nuts and jam. So to the left, I have a finish nut, which is standard finish nut. That's the most typical, widely used nut on the market. And this is what they call a jam nut. Jam nut's about half the size of a regular finish nut in height. Otherwise, the circumference and everything else is the same. You use the same wrench to apply the nut and to remove the nut. Next one I have is this is what we call a heavy finish nut and a heavy jam nut. And how you tell the difference, here's a standard finish nut. Okay? To the left is the standard and this is a heavy finish nut. So you can see the difference in the outside diameter, the thickness of the nut. So this, uh, this heavy nut is going to take a larger wrench even though it's the same size bolt that would go through that nut. This is a heavy jam nut. So this is a standard to the left and to the right is the heavy jam nut. So you can see the substantial difference in that. These are square nuts. So you'll see this square nut to the left. They're both basically square nuts. The one on the left has bevels on the ends, on one side only. On the opposite side, it doesn't have any bevels. You can see that over here, you see it's flat. And then over here, you can see the bevels. And on this smaller square nut, there is no bevels at all. It's just sliced nut and that's it. The bevels start at quarter 20. So anywhere from, I believe it's the, the square nut starts at uh, 632 up to 1032 and those will have no bevels on them. However, once you get above that you will see these bevels on the top edge. 